LSU quarterback Joe Burrow threw for almost 300 yards and three touchdowns in the air, rushed for almost 100 yards and had a rushing touchdown on the ground as LSU had their most complete offensive output of the season, 45-16 win over Ole Miss. We ran the ball. I thought Coach Enzmeyer called a, a great game tonight. He dialed it up and uh, used Ray McMaster in some different situations, used Jefferson. Uh, I thought overall, offensively, we had a great night. On defense, we struggled a little bit, but we only held them to 16 points, which is a good thing. And again, we had another solid night on special teams. Yeah, I've been always been confident in myself, but um, I think, like you said, comfortability is, is key. And I'm starting to get really comfortable with these guys and these coaches, and I think we're starting to hit our stride a little bit. Coach Ed Orgeron says they can do a lot with Joe Burrow. It all depends on giving him a little bit of time. They added in a little RPO for him tonight, and he also drew up a play like they were playing in the backyard. You know, it's tough. It's tough. You know, we play against running quarterbacks, and it's tough. It's like defending 12 men, especially when those quarterback draws and uh, those read options. I don't think they were expecting him to run the football in the read option. Now, we've got to be careful because we don't want him to get hurt. Yeah, we kind of drew that play up in the mud in the game. We didn't have it in the game plan, and... Coach E and some of the guys on the sideline saw, saw something on the defense and we kind of just drew it up on the fly and it worked out. Despite having a bunch of great players such as Greedy Williams, Devin White and Joe Burrow, Orgeron says it's all about the team. We have some great players, Devin White, Greedy Williams, we know that, Grant Tell, but they're great players. So I think we, it's not an individual deal, it's not about look at what I did, it's more like what the team did. And when we have success as a team, everybody want to have, everybody has success. It's not about individual items. I don't think uh, Devin White or Greedy or Joe or Grant Delp is about individual items. They want individual items. They want to win. Yeah, we don't care about like being like superstars around here. Uh, we just like it's just one team. Like everybody, it could be your night this week. It could be your night next week. It might be somebody else's night. It's just play together. And at the end of the day, if we win it, don't nobody on the team care about no individual stats, superstar this, none of that. We just want to win games. feels like we've been doing what, what we've been coached to do, you know, um, really meshing as a team. Uh, got a lot of chemistry. Uh, I'm just, I'm proud of our guys, you know. I'm proud of, proud of the way we've, we've blocked out noise all season. You know, we weren't, weren't supposed to win three games, right? I'm, I'm proud of the guys. I'm proud of our resiliency. I'm proud of our work, our, like our, our work habits, our work ethic. I, I think we're doing a great job. LSU improves to 5-0 on the season, 2-0 in the SEC. Up next, a trip to Gainesville. They'll take on the Florida Gators in the Swamp. Once again, your final score, LSU defeats Ole Miss 45-16. Keep it tuned in to 1037 The Game, 1037thegame.com for all of your LSU Tigers football coverage.